You know, it, it really used to scare me that I didn't know what was coming in my life. I always thought if I would have made the wrong move, but maybe, maybe there isn't any right move. You know, I was really, really trying to figure it all out, but maybe you can't. I mean, I mean, look at us. We all dress the same. We all talk the same. We all watch the same TV. No one's really different, but, but when they feel they're different, they'll say things like, oh boy, look at my tattoo. Oh boy, look what color shoes that I have on, or maybe you even look at my coat. And that's why I know through that I can really do anything and not really care what the result is. I mean, I can smash my teeth with a hammer, so what? I could poke my eyes out, I'd still be alive, strip naked, maybe even fart in the wind. At least I know I was doing something real for at least two or maybe even three seconds of it. You know what? I feel it's all about fear and I'm just not afraid anymore because anything is possible. I mean, it is night on planet Earth. I'm alive. I mean, someday I'll be dead. I'll be bones in the box. But right now, I'm not. That's why I know I can go to New York with Suze. Each moment it can be what it is. I can be down the street reading a newspaper. I can go see a show, catch a ball game. I don't know, meet new people. It, there's really no failure. There's no mistake. So at this point, I'm just going to go to New York. Whatever happens, it happens. So forget fear, forget money. I'll go to New York and I'll live in a box. I'll, I mean, I'll sing with the pums. I, I'll starve, but I won't die. I'll live. Hell, I, I'll, I'll even talk to God if I had to. Eric's dead. They're all dead. They got everybody. So you interrupt my spaghetti dinner for this shit? This is very fucking upsetting. I want that kid found, I want Luke found, kill them. I don't want to hear anything about them ever again, you hear me? Yes. Matter of fact, why are you the only one alive from his crew if they're all dead? I ran away. What, I have a crew of pussies now? Are you gonna run? I'm scared. Well, it looks like you're in charge now. You can go. I'm doing my thesis film with Michael Giamatti, right? Which is, which is pretty ironic because we, we barely spoke to each other for the first three years we've been in film school together. His aesthetic is pretty similar to mine and we began to you know, gravitate towards one another. We were selected one out of 12 people taking this great class on RKL. And he's pretty savvy regarding the history of film, especially, you know, European film, I like one of those guys who feel like film started with Red Dawn. I am very serious about being a cinematographer, okay? My dad, he's a focus puller, which is very blue collar work and it's a very specialized job. I'm, I mean, I even spend hours and hours pouring over grace such as Bob Richardson, Sped Nedvist. Michael's a director, right? And he knows this. He could be a bit suave, which People don't tend to take him seriously. Maybe even dressed like a nerd. Maybe, maybe people probably even take him more seriously, but girls, they tend to like him. You know, it's pretty funny because um, I'm so chameleon to them, right? But when they start seeing the lens, they just start freaking out. <laughs> 